A large cappuccino. Oh, look at that! You got ten stamps on your card. This one's on the house. Oh, great! Hey, thanks. Thanks. Cat, did you just give that man a free coffee? Yeah, he had ten stamps on his card. You have cards? Well, 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 well. When did you start using cards? We've always had them. I ask you every day if you want a stamp. I thought you were validating parking. <laughs> I always walk. This is unbelievable. Well, gosh, I'm sorry, Harold, but I can start you on a card today. What will it be? Well, well, well let's see. What will it be? Oh, yeah. I want those years back. <laughs> Trust me. If I had the power to give years back, I'd take the two years I spent dating that choreographer. <laughs> How did I not see that? Hey, so, big school interview today, huh? Yeah. Well, good luck. I'm sure it's going to go great. I wish I shared your enthusiasm. Are you still upset about the Mohawk? I mean, come on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How many times do I got to say it? Sorry he's not going to keep him from getting his head stuffed into the toilet at public school. <laughs> do you know what goes on in public schools? There's drugs, there's violence, and apparently everyone's running around having sex. Well, wow, really is different than our junior high. In high school. College. Now... Oh, come on. Public schools are fine. I went to one. I had great teachers, made a lot of friends. It was a fantastic experience. Just give Owen cigarettes. They're like money in there. <laughs> you know, private schools are no picnic. I went to an all-girls Catholic school, and I had a terrible time. Wouldn't still happen to have that uniform, would you? <laughs> yeah, but it'd be really short and tight on me. Kind of reminds me about when I used to misbehave and get spanked with the ruler. <laughs> Is that pretty much the picture you're looking for, Stuart? I would have preferred a tickle fight, but yeah. Kevin, are you almost ready to go? We don't want to be late for the interview. We have enough going against us already. Hi, Dad. Hi, Skyler. Oh, hey. I uh, thought we were going to do something about the hair. And why is he still wearing that suit? He refuses to take it off. And I tried slicking his hair down to one side. It just made him look like Hitler. I'm not changing my hair or my suit. Do you have any idea what kind of children you're competing with? There's an Asian violinist and a wheelchair kid who can talk to dolphins. The school doesn't like me the way I am. I'm not going. Right, Skylar? Well, I think Skylar has had quite enough input, young man. Charlotte, I never meant to... Destroy my son's future? <laughs> Actually, I was going to say, be here when you showed up. Hey, uh, why don't you just tell them that, that, that Owen is extremely concerned with the plight of the Native American and he got the Mohawk as a sign of respect? <laughs> what do we tell them about the suit? He feels the same way about the temptations. <laughs> We've always tried to instill that love of books in Owen. Always. And he's taken to them like Moby Dick to water. <laughs> Which, by the way, he read when he was five. Well, looking at his test scores, I can tell Owen is an exceptional boy. And uh, I commend you two for having given him such a solid foundation, despite your divorce. Oh, <laughs> very amicable. She's my best friend. <laughs> yeah. It's all about teamwork and responsibility. And forgiveness. <laughs> and common sense. And letting things go. And not doing anything stupid. <laughs> and not harping on the same thing as if they're so perfect. <laughs> and that's our secret. <laughs> I'm looking forward to meeting your son. Stephanie, please send Owen in. He speaks fluent French. And he juggles. <laughs> like an angel. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my. It's his fault. He was gambling. He's a gambler. 
she drank mojitos when she was pregnant. Oh, my. When you're responsible for this much of the team, you need a car you can count on. Shop online at Overstock.com and find everything you need for your family and your home at a fraction of the retail cost. Overstock.com has the brands you love at prices you can afford. And your entire order ships for just $2.95 or less. And right now, with an extra 10% off select furniture, it's easy to update your home. Only at Overstock.com, at home with the O. What's up, Harold? You know, I've been coming to this place for about six years now. Wow. And I've been drinking about three coffees a day that entire time. That's a lot of coffee. By my calculations, I've spent $13,143 on coffee. Really? Let's cut the games, cut. <laughs> this store owes me two years of free coffee. Stuart. What? 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 I'll tell you what. I've been a loyal customer for six years. And not just a customer, a friend. Harold's just mad because he didn't know about the stamps, and now he wants two years of free coffee. Uh, okay, calm down. I'm... You can have uh, free coffees for the rest of the day. Oh, thank you. That is a very reasonable solution. <laughs> I'll have 10,000 cups of coffee. <laughs> Go. And a scone. Charlotte, don't call me that. With Owen in the car, you're being very immature. Let me speak to him. Owen, what your mother just called me? That's what she is. <laughs> I'm guessing it didn't go well. It was going great until the headmaster took one look at Owen and suddenly we were the Adams family. What did they say? Did they actually turn you guys down? Oh, the headmaster made some noise about how we're still under consideration, but it's pretty hard to believe when the gate actually hits the back of your car on the way out. <laughs> oh, God, Gavin, I'm so sorry. I never meant for this to happen. Uh, what if I go talk to the headmaster? No, no, you've done enough. Well, if he's not getting in anyway, what's the harm? Because I have a daughter and maybe she still has a shot. Unless you're planning to watch her for the day and have her tongue pierced. You know, it only hurts for a second. Dr. Keenan, there's someone here to see you about Owen Miller. Owen Miller? Well, didn't the parents get the hint when you closed the gate on their car? It's not one of the parents. Just tell whomever it is I'm very busy. Hello. <laughs> I know I don't have an appointment, but this won't take long. Oh, my. <laughs> Look, I think you got the wrong impression about Owen. You know, there's more to him than a mohawk and a crazy suit. Uh, uh, who are you? Oh, sorry, I'm Skyler Dayton. I work for Owen's dad. Oh, I see. Uh, Dorian Keenan. Mm. Please, have a seat. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, look, you know, Owen's parents wanted me to get him a conservative haircut and a regular suit, and, well, I kind of encouraged him to go a little crazy. Oh, I see. I do that sometimes. I kind of bring out the wild side in people. <laughs> oh, wow, this is really weird. I kind of feel like I'm in my old principal's office. <laughs> you don't happen to have a ruler in your desk, do you? <laughs> The Millers are really nice people. I mean, talk about straight-laced. Well, that's not entirely true. <laughs> Frankly, between you and me, I think Gavin's keeping this wild streak pushed down really hard, and when that thing blows... <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm getting off the subject. I do that when I'm nervous. I feel like I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, you're not in trouble. <laughs> Well, good. Could you reconsider Owen's application? Please, Mr. Keenan. Please, Skyler, relax. And by all means, call me by my first name. Wow. Now I really feel like I'm with my old principal. 
What are you doing? I'm uh, filling out an application for Owen. It's a public school for the performing arts. You don't like fame? But those kids can sing and perform. What can Owen do? Nothing, but I'm putting down modern dance. <laughs> Owen doesn't dance. Day of his audition, I'll swap out his Ritalin for some Skittles. Oh, he'll dance. Hi, guys. Hey. So, Gavin, remember you told me not to go down to Owen's school and talk to that guy? Yeah. Oh, no, you didn't. I'm guessing she did. Well, I told you not to! I know, I know. What happened? Well, I went down there to see him, and he wouldn't let me in, so I barged into his office. Wait, you, what? Are you crazy? Well, he didn't think so. And he's going to reconsider Owen's application. And then he asked me out. <laughs> what? He used his position to get a date with you? That's so sleazy. I hope you said yes. I did. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. I know. I know. I felt bad for Owen, so I thought I'd play ball. Hey, if uh, you need any help uh, warming up or, uh, you know, want to run a few plays, limber up, ice things, scrimmage. <laughs> Gatorade. Ben Gay. Hey. You know, it's funny. People assume because you're a headmaster, you're automatically a stuffy egghead. And even though that is the image I need to project on campus, in fact, nothing could be further from the truth. Oh, I could tell. I like to have fun. Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a woodworker. I inline skate. I even have an internet comic strip. It's, a, uh, it's about a ne'er-do-well headmaster. He's a turtle. It's a turtle school, you see? Ew. Ew. His, uh, his name is Sheldon. Shell for short, do you get it? Very clever. I'll have another one of these. Oh, my. T-G-I-F. So, what would Sheldon do if one of his turtle students, who was really sweet and smart, showed up with crazy hair? By hair, I'm assuming you mean on his head and not some rabbit to be done in by his own hubris. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I, Sheldon would probably say, oh, snap. That's his catchphrase. <laughs> oh, because he's a snapping turtle. No, he's a leatherback sea turtle. But that makes the snapping more ironic. <laughs> Oh, anyway, Skyler, my playful glibness aside. <clears throat> I know you're concerned about Owen. Yes. And I promise you I will give him every consideration. Uh, well, thank you, Dorian. Hmm. Oh, you feel that beat? That's a boss I know about. Shall we? Oh, no, really, I don't. Oh, come on, Skyler. The night is young. Oh, no, it must be. Oh, my goodness, it's... Oh, my God, it's 7.15. <laughs> I hope you like your salsa spicy. <laughs> well, online dating services can get kind of expensive, so to save money, I found a new way to get my profile out there. Check me out. Everybody says I've got a friendly disposition and they love my spinach dip. Five foot ten. Still doing a little exploring. On it. My side is Sagittarius, I'm in the Spanish cheese. My hairline is receding, but I'm getting a weed. Getting a weed. There's an easier way to say. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Answer a quick question to help us improve your ad experience. you a task. You do the task, you get what you want. Do you make everyone who comes to you hurt someone? Only some.
Prepare for a full body scan. You're entering the fact zone. Congress attempted to pass a law but failed after neither the House nor the Senate could remember how to do it. Jane, you should really tip your makeup people. They've done a wonderful job today of covering up those crow's feet. Thank you, Brooke. Stay with us because up next we're going to show you how to keep your teens from having risky sex by spreading disgusting rumors about them. This is the Onion News Network. So, how'd it go with Keenan? You look tired, that's good. Late night? Yeah, very late. It was so bad I had to go on another date after him to make sure I was still into men. What do you mean bad? You mean like, uh, you don't like the same movies bad or Owen's going to Dartmouth bad? What's wrong with Dartmouth? Oh, please, it's the ass end of the Ivy League. Well, relax, he had a nice time. What, did he say anything about Owen? Yes, he said he'd give him every possible consideration. That's it? Oh, are we wearing a burqa? <laughs> Skyler, I just heard from the school. You did? What they say? Well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I always knew you were a wonderful friend. Wait, wait, he's in. He's on the short list. What does that mean? It's one step away from being in. The Franklin kid didn't make the short list, and he built a robot. <laughs> So what's next? Well, we wait, taking comfort in the fact that we have a secret weapon. <laughs> you know, Skylar, I would love to take you out to dinner sometime to thank you for everything you've done. Oh, that's not necessary. Oh, no, no, really. It would be my pleasure. Oh, I don't want to put you out. I want us to be friends. <laughs> How about Thursday? Good. Okay. okay, here you go. One extra large triple mocha fudge latte with whipped cream and nuts. Thanks. Oh, look at this. I've got ten stamps. So, I guess this one is free, huh? Oh, I guess so. Harold, my stamp is a smiley face. This is a little flower. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It got smudged in my pocket. It's a flower. Okay, fine. You know, they didn't break the mold on your smiley face stamp. I'll find one and justice will be served. Well, then I'll just have to keep changing my stamp, won't I? Oh, well, trust me, you will not get away with this. Oh, we'll see. Oh, we'll see. Harold, nothing gets past me. Oh, tough talk from someone who dated a choreographer for two years. Okay, I've got to go. Thanks again, Skylar, and I'll see you Thursday. <laughs> oh, good. You didn't forget. Ooh, flowers. Who are they for? You know, I have no idea. Skyler, somebody? Are you drunk? <laughs> A little. How did you get your job? My sister owns a flower company. Come on. <laughs> oh, 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 had a glorious time. How about dinner at my place tonight? Yours with Spice Dorian. Ah, that's it. We're in. Suck it, Asian violinist. <laughs> And this time, wear something sexy. Oh, no, I'm not going out with him again. Oh, of course you are. You have to. No, no, I'm not. God, he was a complete bore. If I go out with him again, he's going to expect me to sleep with him. Well, perhaps if you'd been more of a team player last night, we wouldn't be in this predicament today. <laughs> I'm not sleeping with him. No, that school's not the only one with a strict admissions policy. <laughs> well, come on, you don't know that he's going to want to sleep with you. Yes, I do. Every time you go on a date at a guy's house and he cooks you dinner, it always ends in sex. I'm making lasagna Friday. I can't believe you guys are asking me to do this. I make my own sauce. You're right. Skylar, I'm sorry. I would never ask you to have sex with him. Thank you. I'm asking you to dangle the prospect of sex. For Owen, poor little Owen, hmm. with his mohawk, which was all you're doing. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll dine, I'll dangle, but I won't do him. <gasps> Sounds like my first six months with Charlotte. <laughs> Oh, 
my. <laughs> well, online dating services can get kind of expensive, so to save money, I found a new way to get my profile out there. Check me out. Everybody says I've got a friendly disposition and they love my spinach dip. Five foot ten. Still doing a little exploring on it. My sign is Sagittarius, so I'm in the Spanish cheese. My hairline is receding, but I'm getting a wee. Getting a wee. There's an easier way to say. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. You still didn't forget. <laughs> so, how'd it go last night? Here. What are these? Brochures for new private schools. Forget the Wilshire Academy. That ship has sailed. What does that mean? It means that ship got very grabby and had to be pepper sprayed. <laughs> you sprayed the headmaster? <laughs> well, only after he made a very inappropriate remark about why he's called Headmaster Keenan. <laughs> Hey, look at that. This coffee's free. Is it? Oh, cool. Well, hey, uh, better make it a large then. Oh, okay. Cat, stop what you're doing. What? <laughs> this man got a free coffee three days ago and hasn't been in since. Let me see that card. Perfect. Where did you find a stamp? <laughs> Harold, what is it now? He's been counterfeiting your system that is intended uh, to reward loyal customers like me. That is totally crazy, for goodness sakes. Why, do you mean to say that you honestly believe that I... <laughs> All right, Kat, I think it's time we ended the whole stamp thing, okay? It's apparently too easy for people to take advantage of. What? And the stamp came? You can't. No, you're probably right. But I'm one step away. I have nine stamps. <laughs> okay, Harold. Well, then, you'll be our last one. Oh. This cup of coffee is free. Thank you. Here you go. Excuse me. May I have a refill, please? Yeah, 25 cents. Refills are only 25 cents. <laughs> I can't believe this. Well, what'd you expect me to do? No, not you, me. I can't believe I put you in this position. I'm sorry. Well, you should be. It's just, you know, you have kids and you want to do everything you can to protect them, but that's no excuse. I never should have put you through that. Well, thanks. I mean, I guess it's not the worst dinner date I've had. Or will have. <laughs> Skyler? Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Miller. Headmaster Keenan. I don't mean to bother you, but I'm sure you're all aware of my behavior last night. Skyler, I just want to apologize. I wrongly assume that when a woman comes to a man's house for dinner, there is a certain expectation that this is a precursor to physical intimacy. It's like the, like the time Sheldon the Turtle went to a funeral that he thought was a costume party dressed as the Grim Reaper. Um, yeah, he writes an internet comic strip. What, is it, you write Turtle Academy? Oh, snap! Oh, well, anyway, I am sorry again. I hope you can look past this. If there's anything I can do to make things right, please let me know. Uh, Owen, <laughs> ask him about Owen. Oh, I'm an idiot. Excuse me. I want Owen in your school. You know, he's a really good kid who's overcome some very troubled parents. Oh, Skylar, as much as I'd love to make things right between us, I'm afraid it would be improper to let this influence any official school decision. Rest assured, Owen will get a fair shake. Well, Skyler, Mr. and Mrs. Miller. Oh, are you crying? Oh, no, no. It's just some residual pepper spray. Oh. <laughs> Great. What are we going to do now? Well, nothing. Just have faith that you're good people and that the school is going to want you to be a part of it. What are you, you nuts? <laughs> What are you doing here? Pour me a drink and I'll tell you all about it, headmaster.
oh, snap.